Come on, come on. So I just, uh, went over and got the heifers. Thought I'd quickly just have a look in the paddock before I uh, brought them back to make sure everyone was still holding together. There's two calves. Two calves. So, means gonna have to go and get the trailer to bring those ones back. I thought they might have held on for a day. Lovely morning this morning. Quite a crisp morning. A bit of blue sky. Sun's not quite up yet. Well, not shining on me. <laughs> Would be nice. We did have two calves, but we only had one cow, she had twins. Uh, one dead heifer and uh, one bull, which is live, so. Um, got the calf on the trailer now and uh, Philip's following behind the cow. The cow's just following along. We've uh, had the the springers that we draft out. We draft out 13 from here. Uh, we've taken them back on a truck already. They're already back at home in the paddock. Uh, we've got 81 lates left here, so we'll probably keep it at that. And um, <clears throat> we're going to put this cow on the trailer with a calf, and we're going to get her home. She needs a, a good feed of grass. She's a little bit wobbly, but she'll get home. We uh, also moved the calves this morning, had to set up a break for them and for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so today's a busy day, it's 10.30 uh, now and we still haven't built the uh, cows at home or moved. Well, we've got to get the cows in at home and draft out springers out of them too. And then set up a springer break for them. So it's a busy day today. Here's Mama here, Philip's just getting the calf. 119. Come. 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 She I come. I come here. It's not it's not a dog. Maybe. Uh, no. Pick it up, Philip. Thank uh, you. This is a city boy comes to the country, number two. That's a light car, Philip. There you go.
then we have the calf tied in the corner. Got the gate across, so it can't be stood on. Right, so this is how we uh, work out if they're springing, we come along and we check the udder. And if I'm unsure, I'll ask Suzanne and she'll tell me uh, when their calving date is. But all of... So that one there I would say is springing. So we'll check that one. So Suzanne just drafts them left or right springers or lates at the front and I'm down in the pit so that one there she is uh, definitely springing up <laughs> so she's springing up and her vulva is quite loose as you can see Number 31, the last one, 35 days time. <laughs> so, special treatment. Special treatment. Right, so it's just uh, heading down the farm to set up a paddock for springers, which is this mob that we're in here. And just driving past. And look what we have. This could be our first AB calf. Number 122. Is, she was. She's one that we just drafted out actually from the, the dry cows that are here on the home farm. 
she's had a ball I can see it's balls but uh yeah she was quite tight when we uh, drafted them out so that's pretty cool so we'll leave her we'll um, give her some grass when we've when we move these springers on so we're just going to set up a paddock and feed out some silage for these girls and move them down there in a minute so we'll go and get that done right we got the springers down in their break so this is where they're going to be spending uh, the next well till they carve and I think this paddock will last about 10 days so uh, I've got a this is tomorrow's break here and uh, they've got generally you give them quite a big break when they first start in the paddock because uh, you don't want them going through your temporary fences but uh, really pleased with how this Hogan turned out uh, three no two of our Springer paddocks have got, been drilled with Hogan and they're just like this like you know really good uh, tucker for the cows so yeah really happy about that so they're going to be pretty happy in there so yeah that's probably about it I'm going to feed out some silage in here and then uh, we're done for all of our uh, you know important jobs we can go and do some other jobs now so yeah thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you another time see ya